Hello and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Sorry guys, I'm getting a call. Huh? Speak slower. Why Why are you... Okay, give me a second. What do you mean I'm not on... I'm not, the, I'm not hosting Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'm hosting another show? Who wants to be a murderer? I don't know. Who wants to be a murderer? That's a stupid question. Now what's the show's name? Are, the show's name is Who Wants to Be a Murderer? And murderers in red? <sighs> you look. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. You promised that this wouldn't happen again. Why am I always getting these B-list shows? It's C-list. Am I going down? All right. Well, hello and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Murderer. The show where you have a bigger chance of being a murderer if you watch true crime every night. Sponsored by PBS. It's actually not. It's not. I don't want to. I don't want PBS coming after me because of something stupid like this. Anyways, who wants to be a murderer? Enter our name. We're a contestant. I gotta get my agent. What do you mean I'm a contestant? All right, our name is. We're gonna go with Solo. I take that back. We're gonna go with. We're gonna go with Flim. My name is Flim. I wanna be a murderer. Warning, sensitive content, simulated violence, aberrant, I didn't even read that. But... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, one and all, to the twisted speckle that is our game show. All right. Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing cast of characters lined up for your entertainment. But enough from me. Let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity bought and sold, we welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have fun and games, shall we? Well, she seems nice. There's no way she could be a murderer, right? From the concrete jungle of New York City, where dreams come to die, we have the enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. <laughs> God, I kill myself with my own little wit. Greetings, esteemed guests. It's a pleasure to grace your screens with my... That's the same voice, I don't know. With my presence, let the games begin. Next up, straight from the United States of America with the skill and determination of a true gamer. Our wildcard participant, Flim. Wait, what do you mean a true gamer? I'm just from the United States? What if I'm not from the United States? I mean, you're kind of assuming here. You should have said from the planet Earth. Greetings, folks. No, hello, everyone. Hey there. How did you know that? This is what I want to... Yeah. Hey, what? How did you know all that about me? And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction. Hailing from the foggy streets of London, where whispers of the occult echo through the night. We have the inscrutable Edgar Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greetings, mortals. Let's embrace the unknown together. And there you have it, dear viewers. Our motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions, are ready to do battle in this arena. So sit back, relax, and prepare yourself for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin! I kind of dig this. Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. I guess, well, compared to Edgar over there who called me a mere mortal, I feel like I'm going to lose this one. This is not fair. The odds are stacked against me. In this round, your gray matter will be put to the test, and every correct answer will swell your coffers by a handsome 10,000. Why did I say it like that? By a handsome 10,000. Now, without further ado, let's delve into the depths of the unknown, shall we? Ah, Flim. Here's the question. Who is the notorious figure associated with the legend of Dracula? Oh, dude, this is actually a trivia show? I am f***ed. Ah, oh, I haven't... Nope, definitely not. Vlad the Impaler. Impaler. Attila the Hun. Okay, so obviously, it's gotta be this one. I'm not an idiot. Right? There's no way someone called Vlad the Impaler has nothing to do with Dracula. Right? And the answer is... Correct! Ah, that's a hefty amount of money for you. 
go a long way to your student loans. Let's continue. Next contestant, Richard. I'm just guessing, by the way. Vlad the Impaler, also known as Vlad Dracula, inspired the famous bloodthirsty vampire of legend, casting a shadow of fear over across Transylvania. Ah, Richard, here's the question. I was right. Man, maybe I should be the host of this show. I'm just too good. Which of these fruits contains a deadly poison in its seeds? The answers are, why does my thing keep doing that? You, do you see that? It keeps pink, pink. The answers are, A, watermelon, B, orange, C, apple, and D, grapes. What was that? My guess is apple. Something without seeds or did you say something with seeds? Because I think orange, oranges have seeds, watermelons have seeds, apples have seeds, grapes have seeds. Wait, what are we- what was the question? I don't remember. And the answer is... Correct! Way to go, Richard. Way to go, you're moving on to the next round. The apple, just a casual snack with tons of crushed seeds and voila! Death's doorstep awaits. Wait, did it have to do with like you could choke on it? Or... I really don't rem- God, I have such a bad memory. Ah, Sarah. Here's the question. What is the phenomenon known as when a corpse appears to move or grow hair after death? Jesus Christ, I'm so glad I didn't get these because I'm an idiot. The answers are... A. Terminal lucidity. B. Dead moves. C. Rigor mortis. And D. Cadaveric spasms. What were the first two? Oh God, I'm gonna go with C just because it has my name in it. Sarah, it's okay. You can get it wrong. It's only money. There's no way that they would kill you. My guess is cadaveric spasms. And the answer is... Correct! Wow! I'm very disappointed that everyone's getting this right. This is this is bad television. Cadaveric spasms, also called postmortem spasms, can cause sometimes cause the appearance of movement or hair growth in a corpse after death. Ah, Edgar. Here's the question. What is the term for the medical study of corpses? The answers are A. Pathology B. Forensics C. Necrology and D. Thanatology I forget the question, dude. I read it so well. I, 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 I act as if I'm actually the game show host and I have the answer in front of me, but every time I read the question, I just skim over it and forget. I'm gonna go with C. I went with C last time. I'm gonna go with A. Oh, Edgar doesn't know. I think he might be a mere mortal. That's what you get for making fun of me, you son of a- My guess is forensics. And the answer is... Correct. Gotcha there, gotcha, I know, I know. All about the suspense, that's how we build television, people. The medical study of corpses is known as forensics, a field essential for criminal investigations and autopsies. That concludes our first round of mind-bending questions, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a short break for our sponsors. But don't wander off, my lovelies. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to minigame. With a knife, of course. My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Okay. Can I move? We're off the air so I can just yell across the room in front of all these people? Bro, I'm too introverted for that, are you crazy? With this knife game coming up, who knows what'll happen? I heard Sarah's not handling it too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through one piece. Okay, what about you, Edgar? Ready for a knife game? Just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush into anything risky. Alright. I don't know if I can do this, Flim. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? You're stronger than you think. Oh, God. Am I- is this where we forge alliances? Because I'm going to be honest, I don't want Sarah on my team. She's a little weak for my taste. Uh, you're stronger- we can find a way out. We can find- wait. Why- what do you mean we can find a way out? Nobody's died. Like, what are you talking about? Okay. I'm gonna say you're- well, you know what? We can find a way out. Listen, Sarah. If you're not up for this, we can find a way out. This game isn't worth risking hurting you. Flim- I think- I think I need to get out of here. This is probably- I didn't even read it! Yes, you're right. It's better to withdraw now. Thank you, Flim. I appreciate your understanding. Oh, did she live? Oh my god! 
What the f Oh no, Sarah! She was so young! I am freaking out, my guy. Like, that's not what I thought would happen at all. All right, yep. This knife game coming up, you're just gonna say this tough break about Sarah, huh? But hey, this game isn't for the faint of the heart. You just spared her from suffering. Survival of the fittest, after all. Are you sorry about Sarah, huh? You did what we had to do. Listen, in this game, there's no turning back or running away. It's best to keep that in mind. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live once again, but unfortunately, we've encountered a slight setback. Sarah will be unable to continue with the games due to an unforeseen circumstance. With one contestant already eliminated, we'll have to skip our first minigame, albeit reluctantly. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snowy's Wish, an intense boss battle to the last snowball against Santa Claus himself. Yours to enjoy, absolutely free. But fear not, dear viewers, for the show must go on. Dude, I'm never gonna forgive myself. I'm gonna go to sleep later tonight. I'm talking about in real life, and I'm gonna be like, I'm so sorry, Sarah. <laughs> it wasn't me. We're diving straight into our second round of questions, where the contestant's moral fiber will be put under the microscope for all to see. Every answer in this round will earn you 10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Let's see who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. Get ready for some thought-provoking questions, folks. Flim, your question awaits. You're offered immortality, but innocent lives must be sacrificed. What's your answer? Eagerly embrace immortality, reject immortality, value life, rationalize sacrifices for longevity, accept with reluctance. This is who wants to be a murderer, right? So I feel like I have to channel, I have to channel the most scumbag I could be. My innermost scumbag must come out to be my outermost scumbag. Uh, we'll obviously eagerly embrace, right? That's gotta be right. Oh, interesting. Immortality, the ultimate prize was just a dash of bloodshed. Let's hear it, Richard. Questions up. You discover a hidden camera in your bedroom. How do you react? The answers are, A, install additional security measures. B, turn it into a crazy live stream. C, ignore it and carry on. And D, report to authorities. Okay, it's gonna be B. You, look man, if anybody knows about being a scumbag, it's, that, no, okay, please don't have a, I didn't mean it. My answer is install additional security measures. Oh, interesting. Big Brother is always watching, but should you turn the tables and become the star of your own show? Ah, uh, Edgar, here's the question. You encounter a stranger offering you a mysterious potion with unknown effects. What do you do? The answers are A. Accept eagerly, ready for anything. B. Decline and warn others. C. Accept cautiously, hoping for the best. And D. Politely refuse and report the encounter. Well, don't think too hard, Edgar. These mere mortals don't have that much time. We only live for so long, unlike gods like you. My answer is accept cautiously, hoping for the best. Oh. Interesting. Ah, the elixir of uncertainty. Will you tempt fate or play it safe? All right, folks, that wraps up the second round of questioning. And my, my, have we peeled back some layers. Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal, the raw essence of each contestant. They've sized each other up, and believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned. After this short break, we'll reveal the two finalists of this twisted little game. And for you out there watching at home, don't forget to call our toll-free number to join us in the studio audience for the next episode. There's always a need for fresh faces. Voting, eh? Well, 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 things are about to get interesting. Richard, shut up. Your nickname's I don't want to hear it from you. You're not making it to the next round. The shadows deepen. Well, folks, it seems we're off the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Can we all have a moment of silence for Sarah? She didn't deserve this. All right, Richard. So it's come down to this, huh? Tell me, should I trust you over the other contestant? Well, obviously, yes. Edgar, the champ, he's a trouble for me and for you. It'd be risky for you to face off with him in the fi finale, wouldn't it? How about we vote him out and clear the path for us? Okay. <laughs> Watch your back, mate. Trust is a rare commodity in these parts. 
Okay. Oh, God dang it, dude. This is gonna be rough. I don't like this. All right, let's start. I got this. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trust Dick. I'm sure he's fine. That's a name, so I didn't censor it, okay? So, Flim, are you ready to continue, or do you have an need another moment? I'm ready. Excellent! Let's dive back in. Before we kick things off, gotta say, I like the answers you gave in that last round. You're holding your own pretty well. I'm just a fan of the show. God, you know, I've been a fan for so long. God, it's just so cool. Murder and stuff. Oh, really no. Well, color me impressed. Always nice to meet a dedicated viewer. Okay, let's continue. Welcome back, folks. We're live again. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping advice. Looper, the last mission. A small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves. And it's available at the incredible price of free. It's time to introduce our next phase, the voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. The contestant with the most votes will be out of the game. Now, to avoid any unpleasant deadlock situations where everyone gets a vote, in that case, all participants would be eliminated, and there'd be no winner. So think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. All right, let's get down to it. Flim, who are you voting for? So we just yell it in their faces? Oh man, that's awful. That's awful. That's not even an anonymous. What if I had to say, Edgar! Richard, what about you? No hesitation. Edgar. And finally, the champ, Edgar? Flim. I knew you were a son of a bitch. The moment I laid my eyes on your beefy shoulders, you got lineback. All right, we have a winner. Or should I say, an eliminated contestant. Edgar, you're out of the game. Oh. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure, I'm so certain of it. All right, folks, we're getting closer to the grand finale of the show, and that means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each correct answer in this final round will earn you a whopping $25,000. But enough chit chat. Let's dive right into the last round of questions. Ah, Flim, here's the question. What is the approximate volume of blood loss that typically leads to death in an average adult human? What the f is this? Okay, um. 10 to 50% of total blood volume, 20 to 30% of total blood volume, 5 to 7% of total blood volume, 40 to 50% of total blood volume. I don't know. I want to say 40 to 50, but I feel like it's 20 to 30, or it might even be less. 10 to 15. Dude, this is a dumb question. I'm going to lose just because of this. 20 to 30? 40 to 50? 20, 30, 20? 20, 30. And the answer is... Wrong! No! I knew it. I, I knew it was wrong. Let's life says 40 to 50 percent. Dang, we still have a chance. Dude, I should have had more faith in humanity. Like that's that's my fault. We like a bathtub of blood. I didn't know we could lose like 40 to 50 percent of the water in it. Like that's not that's not what I thought. Get ready, Richard. It's time. How long can a person survive without food or water under normal conditions? That's such a fing easy one. Dude, I'm sorry for cursing, but like that's not fair. That's not fair at all. I would have gotten that. The answers are nine to 12 days, six to eight days, one to two days, three to five days. It'd be D. I'm positive it's D. I'm gonna look like such a fool I get this wrong. I think it's D. I don't think you can go longer than like four days without water. Is that right? Maybe? My guess is three to five days. He got it right. He got it right. He got it right, dude. That's not, that's such BS. Oh, that's such hot garbage. Why would I know about the bathtub container full of blood and if you lose 50% of it, you would die? Why would I know that? Because I'm not a murderer. I'm a fake. Three to five days, desperation sets in. Primal instincts take over. Survival becomes paramount. All right, folks. It's time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. Our two finalists will engage in a duel filled with thrills and spills. A real bloodbath of entertainment. My dear contestants, this is your last chance to catch your breath. Hope you're all handy with a shotgun. Okay. I gotta look at Sarah every time. I just feel so bad, man. Of all the places she could have died, she did it in front of all these people. And she didn't even put it on OnlyFans. All right, Richard, what do you have to say to me before we start? Here we are. And no more games or tricks from now on. It's just you and me left. But I'm sorry, I'll be the one walking away victorious. 
All right, we'll see about that, Richard. <laughs> we'll see. Well, Flim, is that time we've all been waiting for? Are we ready to face the final showdown, or you need a moment to gather yourself? Okay, let's do this. I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in. I like your style. Tell you what, how about a little arrangement? I'll start your timer 10 seconds after your opponent. And, um, let's add a little twist. I'll make sure your opponent's shotgun is, let's say, not at its best. Just a little advantage to even the odds, huh? I accept graciously. Excellent joys, my friend. Now that's the spirit of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We are about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive back in, here's the last shopping tip. Astron... I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> Astronomy... Me... me. Astrono... Astronomy... Astronomy... Yes! Astronomy, an asynchronous multiplayer where you can explore the universe, discover and name over 10,000 constellations. And guess what? It's absolutely free! I mean, who's the fool paying us to promote these, right? Ladies and gentlemen and esteemed finalists, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. In the initial phase of questioning, we tested our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in the knife mini game. In the second phase of questioning and in the voting, we probed the morality of the players and coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. In the final phase of questioning, we assessed whether you know the method, and if you've made it here, you have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Action! And so, in this last phase, you'll be armed with a shotgun in 30 seconds of time. Whoever manages to take out the most people from the audience will be the new champion of this dazzling episode of our game show. Um... I may not have realized that this was going to happen. Let the festivities begin! Why are they clapping? Why are they clapping? That doesn't make sense. We're about to literally just shoot them like birds. We're going duck hunting in the audience. Why are they clapping? All right. Oh my actual god. I'm an a- oh, I am so bad at this. Bro, call me Chris Kyle. I'm a sharpshooter. Oh, I'm sorry, this is awful. I'm, I'm going for the high score. I bet you I can get all of them. Oh, I almost got them all! Oh, poor Richard. God, if only you were as good at murder as me. All right, continue. Let's see what the outcome was. All right, folks. It's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our brave contestants for their... Um... Valiant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion, or should I say, a murderer, is none other than... No, please, don't do this! I'll do anything, I'll beg! Flim! This guy's a monster, but it's alright, because the monster helped me and not you, Richard. <laughs> Silly d But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey. The thrill of the hunt. The adrenaline rush of the kill. And let's not forget the sweet, intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So, without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of... There's four endings? No way they have a leaderboard. Are you kidding me? Someone got 39 kills? Nah, I'm mad. Now I'm mad. I'm gonna end it there. Reluctantly. I'm not saying I won't play it on my own time, because I actually genuinely want to see what the other endings are. But if you want to see them, I'll put the link down in the description. You can play this game for yourself. I highly encourage it. I mean, it's actually kind of fun. I didn't know about the whole blood loss thing. That's a weird factoid to know. That'd be strange if that came up in Family Feud, don't you think? Be even weirder if it was on who wants who's smarter than a fifth grader. By the way, I have to call someone. So if anything, I'm going to end this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see all you wonderful people in the next video. Bye.